it's fast. It just snaps like. The video auto crazy fast. I can't even eat from it. Okay, so that's what you think. What is this? A rock concert? So over the weekend, Sony invited me and Vivian out to the San Diego Miramar Air Show where we got to test out the brand new Sony 400mm f2.8 G Master lens. Now what's unique about the new Sony 400mm G Master is that it's much lighter compared to its competitors. Oh! Hey, it's a lot lighter than I thought. I was like full on Popeye ready to grab it, but it's light. If you are a photographer, you'll be able to get away with hand holding this lens thanks to the 5-axis in-body image stabilization built into the newer Sony cameras. On top of that, the new 400mm G Master has built-in optical steady shot. This will allow you to use a slower shutter speed and capture the motion of the propellers, which is highly suggested when it comes to aviation photography. I do have to apologize to you guys, we're not aviation, we're not pro at aviation photography, so if our shots come out terrible, garbage, please forgive us. Sorry. But maybe we could be passed off as a couple of pro aviation photographers thanks to the ridiculously fast autofocusing capabilities of the Sony A9. And the 400G Master did not lag behind at all. All if not most of our photos came out tack sharp. And because this was our first air show, we had literally no idea what the planes and the jets would do. So thankfully, we had the 20 frames per second no blackout from the Sony A9, which allowed us to spray and pray and capture some pretty amazing moments. All right, so we managed to get our hands on a Manfrotto monopod with a Gitzo gimbal. It's really well balanced right now, so it should be able, we should be able to get some smooth video with this lens now. Oh yeah, much more stable now. Although this setup is a lot more stable, my movement with the lens became a lot more limited. Especially when the aircrafts are going by so fast, it is hard to keep up with such a tight focal length. That is why I opted to shoot 120 frames per second slow motion, so I can slow it down and get some epic shots like these, and get a pretty interesting feel when you pair it up with this song. All right, so you're gonna have to forgive us. We swapped out to a much smaller lens, the 100 to 400 f4.5 to 5.6, just so much more manageable. And the image quality is sharp as heck. Let me see your photo. Oh yeah, crystal clear. Might just go with this lens instead of the 400 2.8. No, you gotta go big or go home. That is true, I'm gonna drop 13 grand for that lens right now, let's go. Where's my wallet? Apple pay this. <laughs> The 100 to 400 G Master ended up being Vivian's main lens for the rest of the day, coming in at about three pound, almost half the weight of the 400 G Master. This lens was much more manageable to handhold. Plus, the versatility of the zoom allowed us to yield different types of shots and adjust our focal lengths as the aircraft came close or flew far away. So, uh, Vivian, do you like it smooth or tight? I like it loose and smooth. Why not both? Ah. Oh. Are we talking about camera equipment? I'm sorry, I don't know what we're talking about. I don't know what we're talking about either. <laughs> While the 400mm f2.8 is nice, this lens itself is $12,000. The 100-400mm to is almost a fifth of that cost that will still do a stunning job at events such as these air shows in broad daylight. So why and when would someone want to consider a 400mm f2.8? Sports, wildlife, and nature photographers who have to deal with limited lighting situations would definitely need this lens. The f2.8 will fare much better compared to the f5.6 that you would be getting from the 100-400 at 400mm. 
Personally, it would be very rare for me to ever use this lens, but if I ever have to shoot a concert from the soundboard and not from the pit, I would rent this beast. So while everyone is distracted shooting the air show right now, I'm just gonna walk home with this 400. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.